yellow lights are going to come down, come on, because the uh, gate and the stairs are still down. So we'll uh, we'll take we'll take one here. So Shane out of Orlando, making the jump up to the Mod Mini Division after many years driving bomber style cars. And Shane's been pretty quick here. So everybody's trying to aim at uh, beating the 112. For Shane Satora, it's going to be a 21526 in these Mod Minis. If you're not familiar with them, they're kind of an advanced four cylinder division. Uh, there's one track in the state that calls them super mini late models. So that's kind of what they are. They're four-cylinder, it's kind of like a four-cylinder hybrid sportsman late model. Yeah, out here for Shane Satoris, and he'll go 21-3-9-4 there on lap number two. He won all but one race where he was upset by Jerry Simons in the Governor's Cup at the end of the year. Sean was not able to make it to race number one, but he is in attendance here today. And when everybody saw that one go, CPH roofing machine roll into the pits, there was a collective groan because they all knew he was going to be the man to beat. Sean Bass, another veteran racer, mod mini champ from a year ago. He has late model and sportsman experience and a plethora of other races under his belt. And he's with the Volpius Motorsports team. 1053 will put Sean Bass on the top of the board by over three tenths of a second. So that right there tells you how quick he is because that 19 car is no slouch either. Looks like uh, got at least three. Right? Quickly. A 2939 for Sean Bass. 20.939. Almost up four tenths over Shane Satoris there. It's good to see a new name, a couple of new names on the list here today. It's going to be James Stallnaker. Make his first attempt out here in the Mod Mini Division at East Mark. James Stallnaker, our next qualifier here, cut number 14. We'll see what he can do in his debut. The 14 will be third on the board. And he's just going to shut it down there. We'll take lap number one for him. Again, they do get two laps. We take the fastest of the two laps. So if they don't feel like lap two is going to be any better, then they have the option to shut it down and still get a qualifying run, still get their championship points. When the series are in town or they have a special event, we qualify them. We have a heat race. Everybody else will qualify today for the series of heat races. Now we have car number seven for Clint Foley. And John George is not going to be able to make the This championship point is going to be the second event, second and third event here tonight. So Clint Foley, our next qualifier. Clint ran the first race of the season, so good to see him back here. And the fast qualifier today will get 25 championship points, subtract one through the field. Those that don't qualify can run the main events. They get 21, 9, 6, 8 there for, I'm sorry, 21, 4, 6, 8. It's a little glare on the scoreboard. On the race monitor, 21, 4, 6, 8 for Foley. Going to put him third on the board. And Clint Foley will come by and complete his qualifying run. And he'll move to second on the board with a 21-278. So Foley, second fastest. So again, car number 17, Brad Blanton. Hope he's first number 17, former champion, will be our next qualifier. Brad making it here in the nick of time this evening to race with us after uh, had to attend to some family matters here before he could get out to the racetrack. So this will really act as his practice. And we do have three other cars that are not going to take time, but are planning to run the main event set. Brad Blanton, he'll be fourth on lap number one, the 22-1-2-0. So Brad a little bit behind the eight ball today without getting practice. Honestly, uh, might pay off. It was really warm during practice. Conditions going to change throughout the day. 
Proud of veteran racer, he'll pick up just fine come feature time. But he's going to get some championship points here nonetheless. This is a pick up here now on number two. And it'll be a 21 817 to leave him fourth. So, again, uh, nearly half the field not going to take time for whatever reason. But we just heard word over the radio those other cars have every intention to race later on tonight. And uh, to no surprise, it is Sean Bass setting fast time here today with a 20.939. Clint Foley second at a 21.278. Shane Satoris at a 21.394. Brad Blanton fourth at a 21.817. And James Stalnecker rounding out the top five. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now.